<laughs> uh, yeah, it's obviously it sucks, you know. And I think we, I mean, it was ten games left in the year or so, and I think we gotta really forget this game, you know, take what we can from it, and really move on quick. What was kind of the message from Richie after a game like that? You know, that it sucks, you know. Can't let in goals like that. You know, we got to stay concentrated for the whole game. And we, unfortunately, we fell short. Does it feel like you guys had a lot of draws uh, recently? Does it feel like those were some opportunities where you could have gotten points? Absolutely. You know, we just got to you know, just gotta keep going, you know. Oh, I can't say that. Uh, it, it happens, you know. And sometimes we just don't get the result we're looking for. And, you know, we got to move on from it. What's it like playing at home, though? Because you guys still haven't lost at home. You know, it's... It's the fort, and I think I think we're really confident at home. You know, we haven't lost a game here this year, so I think it's uh, really uh, something to say about the guys when playing at home. You obviously have a big week coming up. You got a nice jersey on. Where did you get that jersey? Is there a story about that jersey? You know, everyone thinks I'm a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my dad has about I don't know, 12 of these jerseys. You know, I grew up like it's not like I'm straight American. You know, I do have some of the culture and some of the. You know, I eat beans on toast. Oh, so tell me who else eats beans on toast. Let's be real. That's hundred percent. Yeah, I love beans on toast. So like, <laughs> yeah, people people can talk, you know. But I think I know I'd love to. It'll be a good experience for me. Like, it's just a, another experience where I can learn and get better. Can you talk more about that English heritage, especially with your dad uh, growing up there? You know, my dad is my dad is very English, and uh, he loves he loves the sport. He loves loves watching. He loves playing. He loves everything about it. So I mean, that's part of how I grew up and I think that uh, you know it really resonates with me and um, I love to play for England do, do you feel like you should have gotten a chance with the United States by now whether it's a youth team or with a senior team I know maybe I'm a bit off the senior team but you know I feel like they haven't really given me the time of day to be completely honest um, and you know when I get called to England camp you know it's just an honor for me you know wearing this shirt isn't you know, uh, a symbol of, like, screw the U.S., because it's, like, not. You know, they just haven't given me the, the time of day, and um, I want to I wanna have a good time and really learn something there. Do you feel that kind of England's kind of, I don't know if I want to say supportive, but has kind of been more involved in kind of, you know, your future, especially in the international stage? Yeah, I think uh, besides talking a bit with Greg, they haven't really, uh, the U.S. haven't really talked to me a whole lot. You know, there's been some talks in you know, U19s a year ago, but... Oh, other than that, not a whole lot. You know, England have really um, shown some interest, and I'm about to take it. I know it's just U19s, and you no, know, I've got a long way to go to play for the senior team, if at all. But I'm gonna <laughs> give it a go. Like, what's the harm in trying? So, is it fair to say you feel disrespected by the US? Yeah. I'm not gonna answer that. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you, guys. When you hit up.